today. From Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. It's week 15 of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins taking on Zach Wilson and the New York Jets. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the side of their Dolphins emerging from the Hard Rock Stadium tunnels. And we are ready to go as the Dolphins get set to match up with the New York Jets. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they interplay in this one. They come in off the... Ex So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. A good run on first down. It's got him very close to line to gain, just shy of the 35. You and I have talked about it before, but what about the year this guy's had on the ground? You come in as a rookie and in the discussion as MVP. And people have always told me, oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 38. They'll try the left side. James. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 73 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Jets take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Ain't doing nothing. That all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis, 93 yards. And the Jets get the quick strike touchdown. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Ready. On first down, it's James. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
Well, fair to say they've got something here in this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time of the ball game. And Brand Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A big play there. Doing it again. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. They'll run on first down. It's James. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Here's James. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. What is going on here? Four first quarter. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Over the middle complete. That's James. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Give him eight on the play, and it'll be second down. On the ground, it's James. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And after his performance last week, everybody saw it unbelievable. You can expect a heavy dose of him again, I think. Without a doubt. I mean, why wouldn't you? Because once you establish yourself that way, it's not just him, okay? It's his offensive line, it's a tight end, it's your wide receivers, everyone now sharing in the load and sharing in the belief that if they do their job, they'll see another performance just like they saw the week before. On second down. It's James, and he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. Toward the sideline, did he keep the it's field? Yes, baby. he got him both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. Boy, 203 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. James. He'll rumble for about six up across the 20 to the 22. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. On second down now, it's James. And he'll have a Jets first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. Partner, those are back-to-back -back six yard runs and if they're gonna continue to get those types of plays Shoot you just keep running the same stuff, don't you? That yeah, was first and ten and second and four now first and ten again Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back And he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield 
Solid catch there for a man who's been so brilliant this year. Worth pointing out, as we were talking about earlier, there has never in the 60-year history of the award been a pass catcher, tight end or wide receiver, that has taken home the MVP trophy. And the best receivers I've talked with, they know that stat, and it drives them crazy because they understand that without a quarterback, they don't make the plays that they make. They also don't feel like they get enough credit for bailing out some of the throws the quarterbacks make. Absolutely. And this is caught. Touchdown. Elijah Moore, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Jets are able to widen their lead here in this first half. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. After the interception, here's Wilson. Forced out to his left. He rifles complete. Caught by Moore. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Elijah Moore on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right yeah, now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their and now off to the races, down the Get right the side. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. A great effort there. 62 yards. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, James. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now Wilson. And now he'll fire deep downfield for James. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Jets. A big play there. 68 yards. And this Jets offense continues to pour it on. If you... Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just giving him a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it, because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is, they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. Flush to his right. James has got it. Complete. He's at the 30. Come on, the 20, three, baby. Three. 10. Touchdown. A great play there. 83 yards. And this Jet offense starting to run away with this one. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. Still moving. Still going. And how about that for just running out the clock? And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Final play of the half, it's Wilson. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. 
So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. We'll start in upstate New York. Sean McDermott's former team, Carolina, in town to take on Buffalo. And they have just about gone to halftime with the Panthers out on top. Sam Darnold has thrown a touchdown pass. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were losing that game as they fall to the visiting Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes, very solid in the win as his guys figure to be a team to be reckoned with. They now move to 11-3. and three. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium and they trail the visiting Patriots at halftime. Cam Newton's thrown a touchdown pass. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race. Very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So the Dolphins offense heading out as we get... Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Still well in control of this ball game, despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Flushed out right. He's going to look deep for more. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Now a throw here to his running back. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be marked down deep on Miami's side of the field. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And a big turnover there as his guys will get. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. They run it with James. Space to run past the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A great effort there. 33 yards. And this Jets offense continues to pour it on. Well, it has been the passing game that's really been responsible for much of the scoring so far, but let's not... Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? Who? You and me trying to get to the airport. <laughs> the road to be fairly that, clear that is by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. Jerome Baker, Dolphins leading tackler in 2020, in on the stop there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll keep it on the ground. It's James. 
He finds an opening past the 40. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Almost unstoppable on the ground there as that one is good for 39. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first down, Wilson. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Touchdown, Jets. It's complete. Elijah Moore from 13 yards out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And this one has gone pretty well to form. They've come in, had little problem thus far, and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes his forward for about six. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. James, space to maneuver at the 40. There he goes, left side. And he is finally out of bounds, just shy of the five, all the way down at the six. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Wilson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Now it's Wilson. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Gonzalez's kick is good. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And it's looking all the more likely that a fifth straight win is going to be in the cards. They'll try to run some time here with a first and ten. They run the counter. It's James. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the ten yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now it's Wilson. Going deep here for Landry. It got his man complete. There he goes, right side. Pass the 20. Touchdown. Carter Landry, an even 90 yards. And the Jets at. Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. Now Wilson on first down. He's going to look deep for more. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. He's going to look deep for more. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. 
They'll run on first down. It's James. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Here's Wilson. Buying time to his left. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Zach Wilson, an 18-yard... Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried. And He's got a man complete. 20, 10, and finally out of bounds all the way down at about the two. Pretty good timing. He waited just enough for that post play to develop and laid it right in there. And you know what a lot of teams do when they decide to throw a post route because it's a little bit longer developing play. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Jets are on their way to a 13th win on the year as they add on... Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. On first down, James. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Wilson wants to throw it. Sliding out of the pocket. He finds an opening past the 40. Gets around him. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. They'll run on first down. It's James. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. I know you're trying to wring every yard out of a run, but I think nine yards there is ideal in this situation. Yeah, now next couple plays, you'll only need one yard. Keep that clock rolling with a lead here in the fourth. Yeah, what you're saying is maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. Really hurts the team on defense. And it is incomplete. I had a defender running right with him. And now it's third down. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown. And the blowout continues. Really settled it. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Jets, they continue to make their case as a Super Bowl favorite as they move to 13-1. and And they'll return home next week to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Miami, the loss might knock them out of playoff contention as they drop to 6-8. and eight. Yeah, They'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
if you're a Jets fan these days, it is hard not to feel disappointed. Your beloved team's been eliminated from the postseason, and there's no do but play for pride at this point. And the reality is, it's been more than a decade now since Gang Green made its last playoff appearance.